creating a histogram from a list of numbers. So we'll head into statistics and the first job is to type in our data set. In this case, we've got 14 test scores uh, already entered into the list here. So we'll carry on from there. We're gonna tap set graph. Check that the only uh, graph with a tick on it is stat graph one, that nothing else has a tick and then tap onto setting. And in here we can choose the type of graph we want. So the type is going to be a histogram in this instance. Uh, the, f the scores of the test are in list one and there's uh, one, the frequency is one, that means there's one of all those numbers. So that's pretty much the setup that we've got to do. Once we tap set, that's locked in. Then we tap on the draw graph icon here and up comes the set interval window. Now, for our data, we can go with the default or we can choose what we'd like. So let's change it and start at 50. So I'll use the keyboard to type in 50 and tap execute. Jumps me into the next. Then the step is the width of each class. So I'm going to go for a class width of um, 10 instead of um, the suggested one of four. So we're going to start at 50 to 60 to 70 to 80 will be our, our um, intervals for our uh, histogram. So when we tap OK, ClassPad uses those to create our histogram. Uh, we could tap resize and that hides uh, all the statistics and numbers that we had above it. To um, have a look at this histogram, we can tap onto the trace icon here and you'll notice it comes straight away in the cursors on the first class here from um, 50 to 60 and it's saying that the frequency of this class is 2. If I tap onto the next class using the right cursor key, we can see that the 60 to 70 grouping um, has a frequency of four. Uh, the next one's five, the next one's two, and the next one there's just one number in the group from 90 to 100. Uh, when we're finished, then we simply tap the cross to hide the histogram and our work is done.